Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm at Orange County Airport in my hangar. Mike Golf Juliet is the airport identifier. And I'm gonna go over a couple of things, how I prepare my airplane for a winter in the Northeast. It's starting to get down into the 50s and 40s at night here in New York. So I'm gonna go over a couple things, what I do, how to prepare, how to keep the airplane warm and the battery charged up. So stick around and enjoy the video. See you in a bit. The first thing we gotta do is, of course, make coffee. Okay, folks, let's get started here um, really quickly. Um, this airplane came with this system already in place. I'm not sure on the price on how much it would cost for the covers and the heating elements to keep the engine and oil pan warm. So let's get through this. Um, I, it's very difficult to put it all together without a camera person to help me. So it's just me. Um, so I already kind of have it put together. What I'll do is I'll take a couple things apart to show you how I take care of the airplane in the winter time in the Northeast here. Cause it is starting to get in the thirties at night, forties, you know, when it's starting to get colder and colder. I like to keep the airplane at a nice temperature. So if I come up here in the morning and it's 35 or 40 degrees outside, the airplane starts up nicely and it's basically almost in the, you know, in the green, in the engine, um, the cylinder temperatures and oil temperatures. So here we go, let's get started. So as you can see, the airplane cowling is covered along with the, the prop and along with the hub, okay? And how I do this first is I put the, um, the prop uh, covers on first, and I can just show you that just real quickly. I don't need, it's kind of hard doing it by yourself. Okay, and actually I gotta take, let me take this off. I should have done this before I started the camera, but didn't know how hard it would be doing everything with one hand here. So we'll take this off and pull the cowling cover back. The cowling cover um, basically buttons everything up up here in the front. So we're gonna pull this back. Again, I'm sorry I'm doing it by one hand. The video is probably gonna come out a little <laughs> sketchy, but you will get the idea what I'm trying to explain to you. Okay, so that's good, it fell off by itself. So basically I put these on first, okay? The prop covers go on first. It goes, put them right in, it goes up to that. And you can pull this wire, uh, string I should say, and make it a lot tighter. Now, I'm not, I don't make it really tight because this airplane is in the hangar and not tied down. If it was tied down outside, I would definitely put in the uh, extra effort, make everything perfectly tight and sealed. And I want to show you, as, as you can see, it's very difficult to see inside the engine compartment. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this band here, like a metal band, um, and that's really hot right now, so it's plugged in, but that is what goes around the cylinders. I have 40s, because it's a four cylinder airplane. So I have 40s around all the cylinders, okay? And it's really hot. So don't touch it. <laughs> um, and I also have basically, if you will, a heating pad um, on the oil pan. Um, so I got the heating pad for the oil pan and I have a wrap, the cylinders are wrapped with this thin metal that gets really hot and cools all the, uh, heats all the cylinders along with the oil pan. Okay, so let's get back to this. So you close, put these on first. And again, I'm not gonna tighten everything down, tight, tight. And this goes on second okay and it's very, again it's very sorry it's very difficult to do it holding the camera here 
and doing it all by hand here. So these are Velcro, Velcro straps, okay? So you pull this in, pull the Velcro straps around. Same thing on this side, okay? Velcro straps are here. You pull it up and around and then Velcro it together. Again, it's not tight, tight. These are not tight, tight because it's not tied down outside. Again, if it was, it would be a lot tighter so the wind doesn't take it and rip it off. And then the last piece of this puzzle is the cowling cover. And this thing is nice and heavy and thick. And you pull this over. Now you see how this goes around everything, okay? That's what keeps everything together, okay? You come down here, okay? Velcro again. It's, again, it's hard to do with one hand. We can, but you guys get an idea. You Velcro these together. And there's two balls here too. I do, I do use these for even though, you know, I'm in the hanger. Okay, but these come up and around and wraps around these little things, like you will, whatever they are called. <laughs> up and around again for the second one. And I just pull this back a little bit. And that keeps everything nice. Oh, this is the, the company, okay, that makes this. So everything is nice and tight and wrapped in here. And now there's other, there's a, a dog just chilling. Um, these, you have three more balls. Now again, if this was outside, I would do this, but this also wraps underneath the airplane. But I don't do that, all that, because um, I don't like messing with the landing door and there's no need for it. Landing door is right there. And I don't want things tight on that landing door. So I let that go. If it, again, if it was tied down outside, I would probably, I would, I would use all what's there. But those balls would wrap around the bottom here. Okay, and you have three more spots to make it even tighter. And you have a string here, a little hook that you can bring back to the airplane and hook it so it's even tighter. And then of course, if your plane's nice and covered, it'll be an awesome system. But I don't need all that. It's in the hangar. I don't have to worry about the heavy winds in the winter time coming through or the snow. We're good. So you see some wiring here. Wires go into the charger back or the wall back there. And I'm gonna go over that with you, what that's about. So I just talked about the um, strips around the cylinders and there's a pad, if you will, um, underneath the oil pan. So let's go over here, I'm gonna show you where that's located. I'm gonna pull this back and it's nice and warm. This really holds a lot of heat, okay? Uh, this, this here, I had this here because, you know, in the, in the springtime, I keep all these these open. I keep just just to make sure the heat gets out, and I, I undo the dipstick. An old timer told me that a long time ago. And you know, after you're flying, loosen the dipstick, let the steam escape. I don't know what the right answer is. You hear both sides of it, but you see these hooks here, okay? You know, if you don't have this here, and over time you keep hitting the um, cowling, you gotta put little nicks in the paint. So I just put this here. So if I do hit the hit it, it hits that and not the paint. Same thing with that side. That's the battery's on that side. But let's get back to this. Dipstick's here, and this is the plug. So it's simple, it's a three prong plug. Very, and I have it here. Put it in, you know, obviously, you know, and I like to hold the base of it and then put it in because I don't like to keep put pressure on that these this area here to keep pushing it down. It's not I don't want to loosen it up and mess it up. But that's how you that, that's it. It's plugged in. So again, cylinders are, are wrapped. They keep the cylinders warm. They keep the oil pan warm, and that's it. And I covered cover this up. Oh, I just lower it like that. I really don't need this in the summertime in the winter time, but whatever. And I just put it back over. Nice. I don't, I don't drag it. I don't want to rip the inside from these things. So I lift it up and over and that will stay warm. It's, it stays so warm how it's wrapped that when I pull the airplane out and I start it, like I said before, uh, I'm already almost in the green with the oil temperature and the cylinder temperature, which is nice. You're starting an airplane nice and warm and no, you know, not, not a hard time start and everything nice and warm in the engines. When you start it up, that oil is getting through pretty warm so they're really cold. Um, I like this system because 
you, and if you guys go to airports or you guys are pilots or non-pilots, you'll see a lot of people do like a 45 minute start on their propane tank, that metal type tubing that's basically almost like your, uh, your dryer would have, I guess, if you would, if you will. And it takes them 45 minutes plus because that hot air has to get through that block. And when it's 20 degrees outside, everything is 20 degrees in the airplane. So it takes a long time to get that block hot and then, and then it gets to oil hot. So this system is basically always on and it's great. They just pull it out, start it, you're done. Not wait 45 minutes to an hour to actually get your plane up in the air because you have to heat the block, heat the oil and so on and so forth. Again, there's myths on that. It doesn't matter if it's cold out, start the plane in the cold, it is. So I just use this because it's just, just, I think it's the right thing to do. So that's what I do. Keep everything nice and warm, it's awesome. So I also have a battery tender uh, on the battery and I will show you that next. Let's go take a look. So it's very simple, cheap, Amazon battery tender. The light is actually, oh, finally green. Uh, that's in Spanish, we'll go to the English side. So there you go, it, it explains to you how you can't read it with the GoPro, you probably won't zoom in or you know focus right. But green light means you're fully charged. Uh, flashing green light means you're 80% charged. And red obviously means your battery is dead or dying or whatever. So I keep that on in the winter time too. Um, because it's again, it's cold and, and I want the battery to be fully charged. I probably don't have to do this because I have the heat, it's so warm that I probably don't have to worry about the battery being that cold and not starting right away, it's not starting. Um, but very simple. That's what I do, and that's it. Put the cover on it when I'm going flying. It, it only takes an extra five minutes, but I wanna have that battery ready to go. Again, I probably don't have to do this because I have the heat elements in here. Um, again, this is for, so I don't have, so I don't bang these on the paint. As you can see, paint's beautiful. So I'm very particular with this airplane. If I sell this airplane in the future, somebody's gonna get a beautiful plane that's been well, well taken care of, that's for sure. But, so I don't really have to, I can feel the high air coming out, it feels good. But I do it anyway. And all I do with that is, again, don't drag it, because I don't wanna put holes and tear it, they're pretty sharp, okay? So I don't wanna put a hole in here or scratch it, rip it. So I just hold it over, make sure it's good. And before I leave, I make sure again, it's not 100% straight because I don't have it tight. And then same thing on this side, over and pull. And then it's nice and warm, ready to go flying. Instead of waiting, again, 45 minutes to an hour to have the heating element plugged, you know, those, those uh, propane type tanks that force hot air. And how they do it is they put it underneath basically the exhaust up in here, up in the front of the airplane. Let's see, there we go, the camera got a little light. Up in here with these tubes and they force the hot air underneath the plane because heat rises and that's what they do. But it takes way long. And you gotta, you know, you're, again, you're already, you know, you're already freezing and then you have to wait in your car for 45 minutes to an hour for your plane to, to get warm. If you go, if you, if you go that route, getting your, 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 your block nice and warm. That's basically all I have for how I set everything up. Um, everything is plugged in nice. And what I also do is I have a very, very low voltage heater. It's very small. And when it gets really cold out, I put that heater inside the cockpit on the floor, um, right down there somewhere. And that will keep, and I close the door and just keep the back, you know, the, the back door. I just put it down, I don't lock it, and it, 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 the heat escapes out just a little bit enough to keep the air flowing in the airplane. So then when I get in the airplane on a freezing day, 20 degrees or whatever it might be out, the inside is not hot, it's just warm enough where it keeps all the instruments nice, it keeps them warm, I don't have to, you know, it, again, cold air won't hurt it, but you know me, I just like to make things, make sure we're nice and warm inside the cockpit. But if it falls over, it turns off, it's not, it doesn't take a lot of ampage. It's a very small heater. It, you know, it's just, just enough even to keep that, it's just enough even to keep the airplane, how small the cockpit is, 
just warm enough. It's not even hot when you open the door, it's like cool. But I like that. So that's what I do on the inside of the airplane. But that's all you have. That's all I have, folks, for you today. That's how I take care of the airplane in the winter time. And uh, you know, it's it's just it, I think it prolongs the engine and it does a great job keeping the airplane, uh, keeping the engine nice and warm, and pull it out, start up, and you're gone. And that's what I like about having this type of system that the last owner put in. All right, guys. Well, that's all I have for this video. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel. Any questions, email me, pilotfun101 at gmail.com. You can also go to pilotfun101.com for merch. And I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and of course, Facebook. Uh, until next time, guys, fly safe, be safe, and watch out for the weather in the Northeast because the air is getting cold and there's moisture in the air, and watch out for icing conditions. See you guys later.